we're in Panama. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we're in Panama. It's crazy. I know. It's such a cool place, though. I'm really enjoying it here. I don't know. It's like jungle. It just feels more off the beaten path. Like it's sort of like the Eastern Caribbean, but like a lot more rugged and like real travel. Yeah. There's animals everywhere. Yeah. There's like crabs and fish and sloths and monkeys and it's like we moved our home to a jungle in Central America. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty wild. The space between the docks is narrow at our marina in Bocas del Toro, and when a sudden squall erupts nearby, a stiff cross breeze arises seemingly out of nowhere, adding to the difficulty of maneuvering calico skies. We don't have a bow thruster either, and our prop is offset, which makes motoring in reverse challenging. Thankfully, the dockhands and marina staff here at the aptly named Bocas Marina are very skilled and guiding us in is no problem for them. It doesn't hurt that our friends are docked next to us and along with the dockhands, Brian is helping steer us using Maggie, their dinghy. dock spots because Bill took a temporary slip when he came in late last night. Hi. After arriving here into Bocas del Toro, Panama, after seven days at sea. He, along with crew Brandon and Andre, made the almost a thousand mile trip together. While I, for the first time in four years, opted to travel via airplane instead and arrived just ahead of captain and crew into Bocas two days ago. It's our first day now, just really chilling out. So, we've been hanging out at the marina today, cleaned up the boat a little bit more. Um, we're just like so overwhelmed by the beauty of focus. And um, Bill's pretty tired after passage, so I think we're gonna stay here one more night and just chill a little more because the weather is can be very iffy this time of year and it's just so gorgeous just even being at the marina, we kind of don't want to leave. Um, and plus there's the AC. <laughs> so yeah, um, there was thunderstorms last night, so everything would have to be shut, probably on anchor. But we do want to explore some more Bocas, but we might just give it another day. Um, yeah, and hang out, relax a little more. Bill's trying to fly the drone, but saying no fly zone but i'm out of the no fly zone it's just so beautiful we like it up into mountains. across the way you can see these mountains um i actually just set up a time lapse over here because 
the clouds are really kind of like unique here. Um, and yeah, again, it's just a beautiful day and you can see there's a bit of a breeze. Like you can't really ask for much more. I think it's like 80 degrees, but it's a nice breeze going through. Hopefully you can fly the drone. I can give you guys like an aerial um, view because what a gorgeous place. The next day, we're headed to town via Panga, the small skiffs used to travel between islands in the Bocas del Toro archipelago. Our marina is located just a five minute boat ride from the main town here and is only $2 a ride. We need fresh provisions in preparation for our first cruising trip here in Panama, which we're planning for tomorrow. <laughs> Every Thursday, the produce boat comes from mainland Panama and delivers directly to the shop, so it's our best bet for the freshest fruits and veggies in town. Like. I know a lot of stuff right now. Um, I think since Saturday and today is Thursday, we got a video done and uh, we're going to go head out and explore. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, it's rainy season so we're going to take advantage. We're heading to a place called uh, Starfish Beach and it's going to be more like just typical cruising. Anchor off, go to the beach. I'm excited to get going. Yeah, I think the boat's finally like kind of back in order. We've been cleaning and like organizing a little bit. Uh, now the boys are gone and um, just chilling and actually working because we had to do a video. So. Um, the last few days have really whizzed by, but Dallas is already out at anchor, so that is pushing us, and it's early afternoon, and we're going to go join them now, and I cannot wait to actually just see more of Bocas from the water, so I'm excited for today. kind of uh, an interesting docking coming in here and I think it should be much easier going out but we're still gonna um, just have the marina boys men sorry marina people employees <laughs> help us out um, get out of the dock so yeah yeah <laughs> focus marina focus marina sound vessel calico sky is over okay, ready? yep the engine's warmed up uh, ready when you guys are okay I'll wait. Thank you, Dr. Uh, so. Hola. Gracias. Have fun, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, your help. Oh, you see those stakes in the middle of the... Yeah, yeah, that's my... It's a very narrow channel. Holy crap, this is a narrow channel. Yeah, I see it now. I'm closer. Wow. I have no depth, so I have no idea how much water I'm in. Yeah, so 
we don't have depth sounder right now, which I don't know if Bill. I didn't mention that. To go through all the breakages from the passage, but that's one of them. Yep, make my life so a little more challenging. Makes it a little more interesting. But yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's like a shallow right there. It looks like, see, this is really hard. I don't know how much water I'm in, you know? I mean, it looks deep here. It looks shallow on your port. Charts here aren't as accurate as other places we've sailed, but placing the depth sounder requires hauling out calico skies, which we're not going to do until we return back after our upcoming trip to the US. Yeah, it's a little weird about a depth sounder. I'm not enjoying this process. No, least... it doesn't give you that added comfort. No, like if I go over that, I see it's 10 feet. I'm like, oh, that's fine, but you know, I don't really know right now. Yeah. Um, I just have to say that it's an absolutely beautiful day. And we had a couple days where there was rain. Um, when we first got here and we were kind of worried that we really got here too late and rainy season was in full swing, but it's been bright and sunny for the past three straight days. Um, of course, while we've been like working away on YouTube, desperately trying to get out, but it's still beautiful today. So I'm gonna literally soak up every drop and enjoy it. Cause in this time of year, you just don't know uh, when it's gonna be rainy. So blue sky. Sunny, sun rays and new spots and new things to see. Like it's just a very different looking topography place. This jungle. I mean, it's like very mountainous too, huh? Like yeah. over on the mainland, at least. Not so much here. And there, a totally right? different water color than Mexico. <laughs> Don't worry. Take it slow. <laughs> see the uplifts over here. So. Yeah. This is gonna be one of those days where I film like a terabyte of pictures and footage because I am so excited. It's just so awesome to be somewhere new and so different and to have the weather be so beautiful when it, you know, we're just getting pretty lucky. They call um, June the transitional season between kind of like full rainy season and regular. So you just kind of don't know what to expect. And, we are super, super lucky today, and we're like kind of headed towards the mountain line that we've been staring at um, from the marina, and it's just it's exciting. We're going to a place called Starfish Beach, which is known for its starfish. Um, it's just supposed to be a pretty beach, and we're just going to hang and chill and like yeah. absorb the real cruising experience that this feels like. It's yeah, definitely... Like Panama, you know? I know. It feels like more real than moving the boat around. I know, it's like different than Mexico. I think because we were in such a touristy place. I mean, Mexico was amazing and it didn't feel touristy at the marina, but it just was a different vibe uh, just based on where we were. And where we're here, it's like, I mean, focus is a little, I guess, touristy, but I think it's, it's like definitely off season now, so. Backpacker spots here, right? Like yeah. It's hard to see. You really do have to They're be really low, you know? Like, I wouldn't be able to see them below our bow that easily. I know. They have no motor. I'm gonna go up on the bow now, actually. swimming in our future though I think. We also like had really strong coffee today. I don't know, something happened and it was like extra strong. So we're both a little like ee, we need to drink extra water. Cause it is quite sunny and it's very humid. You really just kind of like lose all the moisture or that's how it feels. as soon as we get anchored and check out these starfish and cool down. 
down. And yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll get a little rain later because it is kind of, the clouds over the mountains are definitely really filled in since we left. It's a short passage, it's only like five miles. So we've only been out here for, what, an hour? Not even an hour yet. The weather changes really fast in Canada. Seriously. I think it's just the season. It's the rainy season. Oh so yeah, it's these clouds. We are just about here. We're gonna put down the anchor and get the water pretty quick, I think. And I hear the music coming from the resort. I know I'm gonna do much water run. Yeah. Hey, how much water are you guys in? That's a lot of water. I know. Thank mm -hmm. you. 